friends and family, welcome back to another episode of Working On It Pod. I'm your co-host, Ryan Trainer. I'm the other co-host. The main Me- host. No, Megan Trainer. And we have our favorite person of all times here today. Very special guest, Daryl Sabara. <laughs> Very special guest. <laughs> the most special guest, Daryl Sabara. My husband, my soulmate. Baby daddy. Baby daddy <laughs> now too. Yep. Now too. Are like you it? wait, are you nine you're nine months pregnant? Nine months. Yeah. Like I'm officially done. I'm over it. Oh, I have a lot of layers. Yeah, I'm um, I'm done. I have days until this thing gets out of me. I'm so excited. Damn. <sighs> I, it's like doesn't feel real. real. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna be here like, hey. <laughs> He's gonna come. You guys are gonna just be juggling two boys. Children. That's yeah. right. Boys. Oh, oh lightning crotch. Yeah, okay. He was like, Yeah, I'm coming. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and it was Daddy Daryl's birthday yesterday. I just want to say happy birthday. It was happy birthday. Thank you. I love you. That was Big the best 31. day of my life. It was the best birthday, huh? It my was favorite sick. birthday. Toy yeah. Story theme. Yeah. Period. And we Welcome. had uh, burgers from Heavy Handed. Oh. Heavy Handed. Yes. Thank you so much. Heavy Handed. For Thank you. coming and making our days. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you so much. Have you had it? It was del- uh, delicious burgers. I'm still in a food had, coma, yeah, guys. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I had two doubles and two orders of fries. I had one double. <laughs> yep. Because I'm a human. And what'd you <laughs> have, birthday boy? I had two triples. <laughs> Loves and it. And a basket of fries. A basket. And then I got a grilled cheese and was going to do a grilled cheese as well. But wow. Dude, I, I, almost, I almost did too because uh, Gian's uh, wife there, she, she had- she had grilled cheese. Is she vegetarian? I don't know. That would be no, the only reason to get it. I think it just cheese. looked like a very good order. Yeah. Some people don't like burgers. I didn't like burgers until I had this burger. It's that short rib beef. Mm-hmm. Oof. Is that what it is? What yeah. is it? Yeah. Short I was rib. like, the, the meat it, It's fatty like, mm, meat. That's yeah. what it is. Yeah. That's Next what it level. is. Uh, and it's Father's Day is coming up. We got to. Yeah. I got yeah. a round too. I got to get more gifts. <laughs> no, no, no gifts. Oh, for Daryl, for Father's yeah. Day? No. They're like days apart, his birthday and Father's Day. It's cool. I got this. <laughs> you don't have to get I think you just... All the gifts you got me for my birthday, we'll just call that birthday and Father's Day. You got me so many cool yeah, things. Yeah, it's a combo. I I'm did. Birkenstock. What I got him, yeah, he wants to be a Birkenstock's daddy now, and he is. Um, hard to find. Birkenstocks, where you at? Why are you so hard to find? And then I got him clothes. <laughs> You're looking at me like, uh, I got him. You got him <laughs> close. I got him yeah. close for his hospital bag that we shall pack. Oh, nice That's tonight right. mm-hmm. or today, because mm-hmm. you got to do it. Mm-hmm. It's so, what is the hospital bag? It's like you're Just getting clothes, ready for camp. Clothes, toiletries. Yeah, it's like a hotel trip. You chargers. Know? The hospital. You got to have days there. He, but he, he wants to pack the night before. But I'm like, what if this? I think that's just guy. Uh, that's comes that's early. how guys pack. No, yeah. no. But I should I should be prepared just in case this boy what comes out pops sooner out early? than later. Is that a poss? That's a possibility. Yeah. Always, yeah. Second one too. Really? When yeah. we went to, even the- though you're planning to have it a certain way. Well, he's yeah. breached, so um, I'm trying to get a C-section. Um, but uh, th- there, yeah, my doctor was warning me, like, okay, so if there's a big gush of water, or like crazy cramping, then you're in labor. And I was like, huh? <laughs> what and is then that? We just go. We just go to the hospital. Whoa. So I have to have the bag packed, so I'm not like, hold on, let me pack my bag real quick, because I will oh. murder him. Yeah, that would be, that would be bad. That'd be the end. <laughs> or worst yeah, case, but... you know, I could pack the guy a bag. You know? I mean, yeah, mom. No, we're, yeah, we're, we got options. What's nice is that it. you guys can. Come I just asked him to do it for a long time and visit. She had every day, every day, <laughs> except yesterday because that was your birthday. That's right, birthday. Um, all right, so. We still have all the pride decorations up because it's it's pride it's still forever. pride pride forever. Um, it, it is also, also Men's Mental Health Awareness Month, and I wasn't I wasn't really aware of this until TikTok. To be honest, <laughs> TikTok uh, gave me a heads up, and I, I figured we should we should talk about it. It's it's important, and men's mental health. The thing with men's mental health is. Men don't seem to want to talk about it. it I I think that more men are talking about it now more than ever. But Mm -hmm. in general, the majority, you know, stuff it down. Stuff it down. Uh, I used to drink a lot, so stuff it down with some brown. I loved whiskey. Oh, bad problems, bad bad thoughts. Stuff it down with some brown. I was a weed smoker. I would stuff it down with with weed. Yeah, Yeah. just giggle. I'm yeah. fine. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, it so, turned into an everyday thing. And I was like, yeah. are you fine? <laughs> yeah, so we're going to, yeah, it's pretty much just us going to be 
uh, covering all of that. And, um, and I'm just going to watch. Yeah, you I, you have some great stuff, though. And a lot of it's just going to be me thanking you, to be honest, and uh, for helping me. Um, and me. Yep. Tears. So I, I, I found this uh, website called Heads Up Guys, and it's... It's a website dedicated to men and mental health, and there's some crazy stats here. Almost 800,000 people die to suicide every year, nearly twice the number of people who die by homicide. Oh, my gosh. For every death by suicide, there are approximately 20 suicide attempts made. Um It's it's pretty insane. Those are just like crazy I big had no numbers. I no idea. Yeah. Um, a lot of depressed men. Yeah. It's, it's interesting. Mm. I think- I don't know. And we've we've had um you know, we, we we're from Nantucket and recently Uh when we were in middle school there was like a bunch of suicides. Yeah, happening. but in re- in recent weeks there have been oh, a few yeah, there's suicides. Been even more. Yeah. And um, it's like to the point where we're like, Yep, Nantucket, which is so sad. Well, I well it's a small community. I mean it literally community. happens everywhere. It's just it's highlighted in Nantucket because it's such a small community. You know community. somebody, yeah, yeah, you probably know them. Um and it seems to be uh, not all of them, but a lot of them do kind of go hand in hand with addiction, uh, whether it's alcoholism or other problems. And yeah, I feel like the most depressed I was was when I was drinking. You know, you think you think the booze is going to medicine. Yeah, well, the one of the darkest moments of my life was when Jenna was like six. And Our little um, cousin. Like, yeah, and. Uh, uh, it was like a Sunday and the kids would come over. I'm like, Phew. I would just have like a few beers just to shake off the night before so I could, you know, be a fun cousin and play at the pool. And Jenna was like, guy, get Ryan his medicine. I go, oh, no. Oh, did no. you ever Did you ever see that? Did you see that? <laughs> Dude, she I would have hands me a time. beer. Yeah. Get Ryan his medicine. I go, oh, oh I might have a problem. <laughs> um, <laughs> then it turned into you just like, joking but also saying out loud like no this is my problem yeah 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 and like probably crying for help for all that time and we were like ha, ha, ha. yeah which is terrible but nah, I, I, like, I, I couldn't tell you you're a hero i couldn't you know you're a superhero in my eyes i can go up to you and be like well there, there's literally like dr drew was saying there's a whole program uh al-anon i think it is right for family members, family members mm-hmm. uh dealing with alcoholics and addicts it's it's very very difficult um yeah it's it's hard and uh, mental like growing up, i wish i just would speak to someone when i was growing up in middle school especially middle school around the time where that thing happened you know that was those were tough times when i put i put on a face of like everything's fine um and then high school i think i tried when you know our parents didn't like me smoking pot right Dad was very anti-pop. Yeah, which makes sense. I, but he was very. Aggressive. I was a really good student, and then I wasn't a good student. He's hard about it because he would like, he'd be fine if he saw you drinking a beer, but with weed, it was like, he would be, it would be crazy punishments or drug testing. So I think that was tough too. He's been an older dad. Grew up during the reefer madness era, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, but I did, I did go to therapy a little bit in high school, and I did by I was, your choice. No. Mommy, um, when, when I was like quitting weed and like getting tr- drug tested and um, I was like, I need something, my brain, I'm freaking out. So I was like, oh, I just, I need, a- I need antidepressants and I'll go to therapy. But I didn't like my therapist. And then the antidepressants for me, uh, when I quit that, I was like, oh, I feel good. And then quit. <laughs> Very bad idea. Dude. Very bad idea. My therapist just told me you can have a seizure from doing like you can't just. I wanted to jump out of a moving car. Yeah, you could like really collapse. Yeah. Um, nightmare. Don't recommend. Don't do that. Always talk to your doctor. Yeah. Uh, but I I would be lying if I said I never had thoughts of suicide. It's pretty insane to say, but that's the reality. I had some really dark times that I would just keep to myself just never like i feel like i could have talked to you easily back in high school and be like hey i don't feel okay but what's I never... crazy is i didn't know you were ever on antidepressants really i didn't know you were ever in there like mama shield that from me wow 
Yeah, both of you, because you probably were like mortified and was like, I can't tell people. I was very, I remember being very embarrassed going we to this therapist because like, it was yeah. close to school. Yeah. And I felt, I felt like embarrassed. We weren't well, like, it's like this It's in like high a school. thing though that like the, like boys need to be strong, right? Yeah. Like yeah that's the, the man stigma. needs to be strong. Like the, the, they can't feel, they can't cry when you're a boy. It's like, you're, you're a boy. You're not allowed to cry. You know? So when he would finally have a break, like when he would finally freak out, it'd be to a level of like punching a hole in the wall or smashing glass on the floor, you know? But that would be once every five years or something. Yeah. Yeah. It it would be a buildup for sure. And Um, like even, even in school, just from what I remember in school, like if you ever had to go to the office or the counselor or something like that, like, you know, and then something was wrong with you. And yeah. I think that's the stigma is that like if you're going to therapy or if you're on medication, that means that something's wrong with you. And yeah. I, I don't yeah. think it, it it works like that, you know? Mm-hmm. I, I, yeah. And it's like also like I didn't want my shit to be anyone else's burden. I didn't want it to put it on someone else. Like, oh, this is my shit. I should deal with this. Really? But you I feel like the people age. I feel like the people around you want to just help. So reaching out to the because there's people that love you, and then if you go to them and ask them for help, it's better off than just doing nothing and and just leaving this world. I remember recently you told me like um, after your you got sober, you had an epiphany of like, oh, they really do love me. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, how yeah, did yeah. you not know how much we loved you when Be- we <laughs> handed you more booze in the pool? <laughs> like you, you, when we you're, always loved you. When no you're drunk all the time, <laughs> you, you create a reality, a reality yeah. that doesn't exist. I kept creating this idea that, oh, everybody fucking hates me. <laughs> yeah, you're like, I'm a loser. It's because I hate, hate it. I was like, yeah. Mm-hmm. I was like, Daryl, he thinks we we hate him. Yeah. And I don't know how I've shown that. And really, the reality was you guys just saw the potential of who I could be and wanted nothing but the best. Yeah. yeah. Always. Yeah. This Rai Rai was always in there. Mm-hmm. Right. But the problem is I you, still have a lot to work on. so much hope for everyone else who's <laughs> drowning, though. I'm like, well, if I can do it, they can do it. I still have a lot to work on, but it's been great. And um, he just you just got to your sober, right? June 1st. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Congrats. Thank you. Yeah. Um, and shout out to Bobby Lee, honestly, who got me to start going to AA because I was very against it. I just yeah. didn't. I was like, no, nah, that's not for me. I can do this on my own. But the thing that the thing that happens, I think, eventually is uh, you get too comfortable. And I feel like when I get comfortable in any situation, whether it's with uh, being a photographer or doing this podcast, when you get too comfortable, you fuck up, you start making mistakes. So if I get too comfortable with you know being sober and not doing anything to continue to be sober, then I'll probably slip up, you yeah. know. And so what AA does is it first of all you get to be surrounded by people who are just like you. They have very similar brains, you know. You just you all like to get drunk and stay drunk, and unfortunately, can't drink anymore. And then the other thing is, there's steps in place. There's sponsors. You know, you got to call your sponsor every day, mm-hmm. and it keeps you in check. It keeps you like dialed into. I'm doing something to stay sober. There's a lot more to it. I I feel like right now life's good, right? But down the line, I think I'm gonna definitely use these tools that I've been learning. In yeah, a, God forbid a, something bad happens. Like, yeah. how could how can you handle it? Right. Mm-hmm. And you have a community now. Yeah. And you can ask for help. Yeah. It's great. It's cool. So yeah, if you anyone out there that's struggling with drinking and bad thoughts, there there is light at the end of the tunnel. It's very very. It's a dim 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 light, and it takes <laughs> a lot of work. There. I'm still. I'm just like. It's just starting to get bigger, but it's like you got to ask for help. You have to reach out to someone and put your pride aside. And it's, you you know, you're still the man. Just be a bigger man. Ask for help is what it comes down to. Um, Daryl, you've Daddy been Darryl. doing a lot of stuff recently. Yeah, I'm, your I'm almost through with your emotions. I'm almost a year sober. And I'll just say living, I mean, we've lived together for, you know, what, almost seven years now isn't that um, crazy right? so long i know like yeah i was like when we started dating like three years ago he's like sub <laughs> <laughs> um but like, when i newly got sober having you 
here at the house, like I remember I had, there was like one moment where, um, you know, cause I, I never thought I really had a problem with alcohol. I thought it was, it was honestly more weed. Uh, but I poured Megan a glass of wine one day and I had a hard day and I was just like looking at that glass of wine and I was like, Ooh, like, I don't know why I want to drink this right now. And I ran up to your room and I was like, and I just like explained what happened and you just being there and like being able for me, like to just say it out loud and, yeah. and for you to hear me and go like, it's all right, man. Like you're good was so helpful. I didn't so, know you did that. Yeah. You guys have secrets. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> bullshit. Yeah, I, I start to go to Daryl more for my secrets because Megan, Megan runs her mouth. I, I got big mouth. Everyone's gonna know, know if you you got secrets. You tell me like, the good stuff. gonna know. Yeah. So I start with Daryl. I warm up with Daryl, and then I'm like, all right, I'll tell Megan. Because uh, eventually, eventually, you can't keep anything slip, from Megan. Like one thing in a whole month, and I'll be like, y'all, y'all have time together without me. Because <laughs> I'm sleeping in nowadays. Um, but, uh, 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 I love you so much. I love you too. All right. For All those right. listening, Daryl just, ha- uh, froze in time. Go to YouTube, watch the clip. We're definitely clipping it. Going on TikTok. Okay, yeah. Daryl, what but do you got for us now? All right. So, <laughs> besides... Sobriety, uh, Ryan helped me with sobriety, and Megan helped me with depression. Period. Uh, I recently went on antidepressants a couple months ago, Woo-hoo! and they are amazing. Um, do you notice a difference now that you're a month in? Over a month. I'm I'm over a month in, and I do I do notice a difference. Um, but what I want to say really quick is that depression is like from what the psychiatrist said, an ecosystem. So for me antidepressants i was like oh i don't need that i'm i i meditate a lot i you know i use cold therapy i take cold showers i do wim hof breath work like that like that's my form of antidepressants but i was still kind of running up into the same problems and um i didn't think antidepressants were for me because when you went on antidepressants you had a very sp- like particular thing happened. I was to having you, panic disorder. And you had panic disorder. And in my brain, because my depression didn't look like your depression, I was like, well, I don't need antidepressants. Yeah, that's a big thing is people being like, I'm not like depressed enough for a therapist or I'm not sad enough for this. And it's like, no, you could be perfectly happy and not have crippling depression and you can have a therapist. Yeah. And so, um, yeah, I finally like asked asked you for help, and and you helped me get in contact with um, Doctor Bowman, who's amazing. And um, yeah, the antidepressants have been awesome. I just notice um, uh, my mood is like a lot better. I don't hold on to things mm-hmm. as long. It's easier to let certain things go. And sometimes when you know I had tough days and stuff like that, I, I'd hold on to grudges. And and I and it was like a spiraling thought process. I couldn't stop thinking about that one thing. Yeah. And I try to you know meditate or do something else, but my meditations were just still filled with those same thoughts, and um, I I just couldn't let things go. And and now I notice like I still feel my feelings, and I notice the thoughts and I notice the feelings, but it's easy for me to just go like, all right, I'm gonna put those aside and come back to that later and and focus on like the task at hand, whether that be, you know, hanging out with Riley or, or doing things around the house. So it's been, it's been good. I've yeah. seen, now that I think about it, when, um, I've seen you, like, you're so in tune with your feelings that you take on others too, because you really care about everyone else, especially me. And you go like, oh, I'm protecting you, but you'll take on emotions that I don't even have. Yeah. And then I'll be like, are you okay? Yeah. Like I know so many interviews where I make everyone laugh because I'm like, I'll be good. But my husband is like spiraling about something that I'm like, yo, I'm the pregnant one. Like mm-hmm. I'm fine. Are you okay? Yeah. Cause you, you just take on every, you're like, you should feel like this. So I'll feel it for you. And that was like getting in the way of well, living life to the happiness. A lot happiest. of that too was, was therapies really helped with that because that's, um, a word that we use a lot now trigger i was being triggered by things i didn't even know i was being triggered by and i 
thought I was trying to protect you because my ultimate goal is to make sure you're safe and to make sure Riley's safe and, and everyone's safe. Um, but I was like neglecting myself. So I wasn't feeling safe. And then I was projecting onto you guys like, I have to keep you safe. Man, I was like, everyone's fine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Do you want to mention the, um, the PTSD thing or no or just like as a kid actor that was a big yeah, thing d- d- yeah. Trust, say, trust issues. i do well yeah uh in therapy it's not um it's not the proper diagnosis but okay. but it was just like off the top of my therapist's head he was like i think you have some mild ptsd um and from, serious trust from child issues. acting from child acting um and just from my experience um with my childhood yeah and growing up um and yeah, I, I have to, I'm waiting. I'm, I still have to do more therapy with my new therapist to get the proper like diagnosis, mm-hmm. but that was just like him spitballing. Yeah. So. But I was the, like, yeah, that makes sense. The trust issues is crazy. Cause like, as soon as we meet someone, even if they're an angel, he's like, I don't know about this. <laughs> that's like, a, yeah, but that's, that's just a reality. Living in Los Angeles <laughs> yeah. your whole life. You know? And the reality of our situation like, is we gotta I be, love that. we have to be careful. <laughs> and I'm opposite yeah. where I'm GT and I'm like, stranger, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on in. Yeah. What can I get you? <laughs> we learn a lot from each other. Yeah, I, I gotta I'm, do that I'm very quick to be like, I see right through. There's a, right. there's a snake. And I then trust. you guys are like, they were fine. And then after a little bit of time. Then I'm like, why yeah. does this suck? <laughs> and after like, like 10 oh, fuck ups, you. I'm like, nah. Yeah. Right there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, I don't have like a three strikes rule. I have like a seven. Yeah, so yeah, I need yeah, to yeah. like reel that in. <laughs> and I'm leaning. And I have a I have like a point five strike rule <laughs> yeah. where if they just like <laughs> seem like they're about to fuck up, I'm like, I'm good. Yeah. So I need to <laughs> give <laughs> I need to give people more of a chance. Uh but I like your approach to everything, Daryl, because you try I like that you did everything. You did everything. You, you did everything possible, you know? Eat healthy, work out, cold plunge, sauna, meditate. This, Wim Hof, Hof, that, this, that. And then you're like, all right, let's give these things a, let's give them a shot. Let's try a couple uh, of medications. I was scared scared because, because there's a, well, there's a, I mean, and and this needs to be talked about more. There's a stigma with antidepressants that, you know, like that means like that you're depressed and there's such a stigma with depression on, on like what that looks like. And, you know, it looks like many different things to many different people. Everybody is different. And everybody, you know, goes through everything differently. It's also like we don't get I wish we were taught this in school. I wish there was a whole like mental health. Like you go to gym class, you go to mental health health class, mental health. Because I had to I had to learn about it when I was just dying through it. Like I had a stigma, too, on the pills that I adore now. Like (laughs) and I'm I look at others and I don't preach it on them, but I go I if you feel like your chemicals are off, I have a guy you could talk to, you know, like you could take steps to get help. Um, well, and, and we're like so like that. open books that it's so funny. Even yesterday at my birthday, I was talking to some people and, and I mentioned that I went on antidepressants and they're like, I've known them for a couple of years now. And they're like, oh, I've been on this for years. Yeah. I'm like, why am I oh, just finding throat. you? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what just happened? You didn't hear that? I heard it. I like I inhaled, but my throat was closing on me. I don't know. But yeah, Um, when it comes to blending style and functionality, Lululemon shorts stand apart from the rest. I stocked up on the Wonder Train shorts in particular. The stretchy fit provides incredible support during workouts while still allowing me to move with ease. And they also feature Lululemon's fastest drying fabric ever because Lululemon knows you like to work up a sweat, you know? These shorts wick away all that moisture and keep you feeling nice and dry. You've heard me talk so much about the Pacebreaker shorts at this point, but it's for a good reason. It is also so good at wicking away moisture and features secure pockets so your keys aren't banging against your leg when you jog. Mm-hmm. They are really so, so versatile. Absolutely. The Wonder Train shorts and the Hattie Hot shorts are game changers. They seamlessly fit into my wardrobe, and I always feel so cute when I wear them. The Wonder Train shorts, as I mentioned offer unbeatable stretch and support. And of course, the Hottie Hot shorts are perfect for runners or anyone who wants that full freedom of movement or a secret stash pocket as well. Head over to lululemon.com and discover their incredible collection of shorts. Visit lululemon.com now. I do still, I feel like I was the only person in this house that's on antidepressants. I still feel, even if it's not happening, I feel judged. And it could be my own stigma Mm -hmm. of like, everyone's judging me because I'm on medicine, you know, but like that should save my life. 
Yeah. Yeah. Saved my life. I was like in and out of the emergency room and I was crumbling and I didn't know if I'd have a career. And because of that, I ha- am thriving in my career and I have two beautiful children and I have everything I ever wanted and I'm still on them and I love them. Mm-hmm. I just had low T, so. <laughs> 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 but yeah, I was like, uh, cause uh, the, there's a lot of suicides of men, like over 40 and, and yeah, because back home. They didn't learn and, about it either. I feel like at a young age. Well that, but I'm like, I don't know, dude, I felt pretty shitty and I was doing all the right things. And I was just like, why the fuck am I still like depressed and low energy? Like what the, what is going on, dude? I'm sober. I've been sober for a year and a half. I work out all the time. What's, what's happening. And I go get my blood test and he's like, Hey, low T. Low T. But also you talked about it. I think a lot, I think what helps a lot is just to talk about it. Like the what fact we're that you're willing to want when to you figure went, that out. When you great. went and you got your results about your T, like, you know, you told us about it and then you went and you did something and we supported you. And, it's and like, I was like, Daryl, check your T. <laughs> I was like, you could do that. Everyone, check but your then I did, But then I saw a TikTok of like when uh, the wife gets pregnant and she's going through pregnancy, the husband the testosterone goes down. All these things like happen hormonally to the body. So like, Dr. Andrew tea, Huberman. Baby. Yeah. Andrew Huberman, just, the guy. Yeah. Yeah. But it's just during the pregnancy. And then yeah, we that's, be, that's we why be you, eating. You, you be eating together. We be and then, eating. But then we're you're going to do 75 hard. That's right. Yeah, We're going to do 75 hard. We're going to go hard. It's going to be so sick. Excited. Um, yeah. A lot of that. So I have a clip from Jay Shetty here. Ooh. Because, I love Jay Shetty. Yeah. He'll getting, be on our podcast someday. Getting I'm healthy really is like the key here. Um, Gut health goes right to your brain. brain. Connected. I always focus on not how I feel before something, Mm. but how I feel after. The things that are good for you will feel bad before and good after. And the things that are bad for you will feel good before and terrible after. And so I'm more (laughs) focused on how can you be healthy? We want mental health. We want physical health. I want relationship health. Like health is more important to me than happiness because health creates happiness. I like that. Health create creates um, happiness. Did you say cake? When he was like, <laughs> you're going to feel terrible after. And I was like, cake. Yeah, it feels good now, <laughs> terrible after. Cake. <laughs> you woke up swollen. I, I was. Daryl has this weird thing where he eats. Sugar yeah, hungover. If he eats too I much sugar, sluggish. he will literally be hungover. <laughs> yeah, no, my eyes were puffy and just swollen. from sugar. Yeah, yeah, we ate a lot of cake, a lot of donuts. Uh, it was your birthday. Yeah, it was. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll save that for just once a year. That's good. I don't want to feel like that. <laughs> yeah, too bad. There's anymore. more birthdays than there's Christmas and uh, Thanksgiving. Dude, yeah. Not my like, birthday. After our seventy-five hard, we're going into the holidays. So I was like, oh, yeah, <laughs> it's a nightmare. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's that's pretty much what it comes down to. If you're if you're just like just not moving around, you're drinking a bunch of fucking soda eating only sugar mm-hmm. and not taking care of yourself, you're going to feel bad. You're just getting these quick dopamine highs and there's just lows every single time. That's with drinking. It was just an endless cycle of like, well, here's my dopamine. I feel good. I feel good. And then when it runs out, you feel even worse than you did before. And it's a constant battle of trying to beat that shitty feeling and mm-hmm. it never ends. But when you do something like um, get up early hop in the cold plunger, take a cold shower. It's fucking miserable. But after that cold exposure, like you feel so good. Yeah. Feel great. I still feel great right now just just from a run and the cold plunge. Daryl, you went full psycho today, which is insane. I I love it. Yeah, why are you doing six minutes? Seven, seven, seven minutes. I saw a TikTok that said six to eight minutes um, is just like really good for killing brown fat cells. So, okay. you know, and if I can last that long, I'm I'm going to try to last that long, you know? That's the only thing I'm not looking forward to after this pregnancy. <laughs> it's it's the cold plunge. The, the cold water. I'm scared. <laughs> I got a couple Megan Trainer tunes on my playlist that <laughs> like, I just That there, is I, hell I on earth. You're telling me you're just bumping Megan Trainer in the cold plunge? In the cold plunge. Y'all live some of it. No, 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 in the cold plunge. <laughs> I'm going to be all right. I, I said. A thousand wow. times. If you guys haven't heard this news, what Sam a Fisher plug. Tune. Thanks, it's a great baby. song. It's called All Right by Sam Fisher featuring moi. Mama said that there were days like this. <laughs> I know all the words. Kind of. Um, you slipped up a few. Kind of. <laughs> um, well, oh, but meditation, same thing. Like I wake up 
and um, I, it's weird. You get up I, at five, I, right, or like six? I've been getting up at five thirty, five forty-five these days because uh, Riley's been a uh, legend yeah, he's been and sleeping, sleeping in. in. I know, so, so I don't have push to push it. No, I like things. to have a nice hour to myself in the morning if I can. But um, but I didn't think about this. Uh, like relearning the transcendental meditation. Um, you don't start your mantra until about thirty seconds after sitting there because you have to uh-huh. get all nice and relaxed. So I used to. Um, and I, I, knew and that. I didn't, I forgot, but I used to like, if I was, whatever I was feeling anxious or whatever, I just sit down and, and try to start, you know, and go like mantra, mantra, mantra. And I, I wouldn't have as good of meditation. So like to kind of like feel good before I go into the meditation, I feel even better after I come out of it. And that's my story. Okay. I like that. No, Here, here's another little TikTok that relates to that with like, I don't know how you deal with the bad thoughts, but this is what I've been doing recently, Ooh, and this okay. is this is pretty money. And there might be these thoughts flying around in your head, like, oh, God, what an asshole. People suck. But instead of you reacting to those thoughts, you just watch them. Like, oh, wow, that's the part of my brain that thinks people suck. Watch that. Wow, there it is. And now it's gone. And that practice makes you a much happier person. Well, How we have, we have the same algorithm. Wow, huh? I know. How about <laughs> that, dude? If I played that for you like four years ago, you'd be like, eh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> you'd be like, whatever. <laughs> it's great though. That's pretty much that, meditating though, is you have yeah. all these crazy thoughts and you yeah. let them you let them float by. Yep. Like, Whoa. Watch my brain go. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah, you label you it watch, a thought. Yeah. And then once it's labeled Name it to claim it. it. What? No, yeah. name it to tame it. That's what it is. Yep. Name it to tame it. Yeah. Like, what is this emotion I'm having? Oh, severe anger. Why am I angry? You know, and like break it down. Break it down. Break it down now, y'all. That's what my therapist said. Also, she said some bars yesterday. Let me go figure this out. I'm going to find it while you keep it. Is this the one I sent you? No, but this is like the same guy, I think. But like, this is this is the thing that's happening, dude. There's a lot of depressed dudes out there. And this guy, this guy is 4 million likes on he's TikTok. He's so good. And he's just talking to someone that. It's all these guys that just, I guess, don't have someone to talk to, or they, I don't know. This guy, and he just hypes you up. Have you seen this? Mm-mm. This guy's changing fucking no, lives. I the this, comments are I nice. sent this guy to you. Is it sweaty in here? Yeah. All right, go. What's up, buddy? You made it. The music's so fucking Another loud. day. Though. One more down. You should be proud of yourself. <laughs> you really should. I'm proud of you. <laughs> I know you got a lot going on. <laughs> Dad? You know, you got a lot of shit on your shoulders. You got a lot of shit on your chest. Don't stop. You can't quit now. You come too far, man. Your heart's a warrior. You're stronger than you think. You made it through all them other bad days. And I know these days, they all blend together. Yesterday feels like today. And tomorrow's gonna feel like yesterday. It's kind of just the way it goes. There's only one thing you can do. You gotta change tomorrow. You gotta be better than you were today. And don't forget, your future you needs you. Your past you doesn't. You'll be alright. I know you. You always are. Make sure you come back. I love that. Was that Shia LaBeouf? <laughs> <laughs> How good His is that shit role? though? Your future you needs you. So that's kind of the oh. epiphany that I had when I woke up on that bathroom floor. I was like, the future me needs me to stop this so I could just crush it in life. I'm looking out for 10 years ahead, Ryan. You know, yeah. like that dude is not going to be very happy with me if I keep this habit going. I'm going to be in shambles. So let's wow. quit it. And uh, the future me is is happy for me right now. Like he's looking back like, fuck yeah, Ryan. Way to be. Thanks for looking him. out. It's a cool way in my mind to stay in the present too. Like if future if future me needs me, then I gotta make the present the best that it can possibly be and be good right now. You know? Bars. That was a good song, Dale. <laughs> <laughs> ride it. Ride it. Let's go down to the studio and ride it. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. What song should I put on my playlist for my C section? <laughs> <laughs> Comment below. <laughs> So you need to make a playlist for your C-section? Yeah, and all I have is T-Pain. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, we'll think, all right, yeah. 
let's ask the people what they what please put suggestions below nothing like calm and sad i need to be like amped i'll give you examples of what i like where is it <laughs> what about evanescence so we were gonna start with yeah. to rock. <laughs> Bring me back to life. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, we have no. um, I'm gonna be alright. That's the only Megan Trainor song. Right. I'm like, I'm literally gonna be alright. Uh, love train people around the world. Remember that? that you just mentioned that. Me ha- hyped. Um, okay, I put this on for Daryl. You're a sky full of stars. Because that's what I played on our Did first date. And then, ooh, I can't believe it. There's my teeth and oh, meow, meow, me. And then buy you a drink, of course. And then booty work, of course. And then I got a random, just like a prayer. Oh. <laughs> and then a bunch of John Bellion. And I need help. <laughs> Any M&M on there? No. <laughs> Which ones? I'm cleaning out my closet. <laughs> yeah, One yeah. more time. <laughs> I say, I'm sorry, mom. Just lose it. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> It's stupid. Ah. It could be good. Might take your mind off it, bro. Maybe. <laughs> Just. <laughs> ah. You know what we should do? We should go around the house and have everyone put in like their favorite song. Yeah. So when the song comes on, we're like, oh, Ryan's here with us. Well, now I feel like we should play Car Wash. Every time we change Riley's diaper, it's the OG Car Wash song. We definitely need Car Wash on and there. And it's so cute because he won't dance, right? But my boy's a singer. He's singing. And he's a clapper. So he goes like the M. Mm. Mm. In the beginning, and he's on rhythm. And I'm oh, like, okay. He didn't okay. get that from me, I'll tell you that. Yeah, and he's like s- singing every part. He's like, car wash, yeah. I'm like, oh. He barely says sentences when he's singing these tunes. He also loves, what's the goofy song? Stand up. What's the name of the song? It's called Eye to Eye. There it is. From the goofy movie. <laughs> the fun. Tonight is the only. All right, we got a couple of voicemails here, but yeah, if we could just uh, help Megan with her playlist, I guess, for the yeah, pregnancy. I don't like any of the songs I picked, so now I have to start over. <laughs> we'll figure it out. We could do that on TikTok Live. That'd be nice. People could call in, give you a, a song. Now do the pretty girl rock. Like, should I put that on there? Okay. Here we go. Uh, My name is Carrie. I just have like two that are kind of on like? theme. Let's see. <laughs> Hey, Ryan and Megan. Uh, my name's Mike. I uh, just wanted to say that uh, around the time I was trying to get sober is when I started listening to your podcast. And uh, Ryan, you were, in a way, like really an inspiration as well. And it was awesome just to hear that it was cap- that you were capable of living, you know, sober life. And it was really helped me um, when I was drive to work and listen to your podcast and things like that. Um, Megan, always been a fan. Love you both. And, uh, hope you guys are doing well. All right, bye. Thanks, oh, Mike, Mike, my guy. Mike. Yeah, they, <laughs> the sober life is great. Never thought I would say that ever. Um, but so far, big fan. Two years in, big fan. It's a game I'm changer. Cool. Feel amazing. And Megan, your songs are cool. And Megan, you're pretty cool too. <laughs> I'm telling you, bro, you're going to save lives. You're never alone. There's always someone you can talk to, even if you don't think it's family or friends. You can call 988 for Suicide and Crisis Lifeline. Um, they're available 24-7. And um, this website, what was the website you found? I really enjoyed that one. That was nice. Yeah, um, headsupguys.org heads up is a new favorite website of mine. And um, also shout out Waves of Wellness. Ooh, waves oh, of yeah. wellness. Yeah. Stunning. Um, um, some favorite meditation apps. What's the one you love? Headspace. Headspace, Calm, Calm. app, 10% Happier. Love those. They're great. Oh, the book that um, Oprah put out with her doctor friend, What Happened what to happened You to or you? something. Mm-hmm. That's, that's a great book. I can't remember the title. Here we go. Anyways, we're here. Reach out to us. We'll help you. We love you. Take care of yourself, man. Everyone. <laughs> Um. Mm. Yeah, and I just wanted to thank you guys. Um, Who? You, you and Daryl. Yeah, you, Megan. Uh, you guys helped me out big time with everything in life, but a lot with um, my mental health. And yeah, it's. 
<laughs> I love you guys. Oh, we love you too. Man. I love you so yeah. much. Mental health is cool. Take it's care cool. of yourself is cool. You help it's us cool. out. We're, you're kind of like you're our, my inspiration right now. Also, you're. Oh well, yeah, I'm, a, I'm in extremely good shape. So <laughs> you're gonna be my trainer. <laughs> but you're like everybody's vibe guy, you know? Yeah. And, and you're my hype sometimes guy. Sometimes the hype vibe guy hurts the most. <laughs> yeah. What hurts the most? Help. I started. So. You know what I started doing too is just being grateful for uh, little things. I, I will be laying in bed at night and just being like, "Wow, I'm so happy I could breathe. Like mm-hmm. breathing is a gift." And walk. Walk. Yeah. Thank yeah. you, body. That's Thank, what you we body say. Thank you, toes, body. Toes, fingers, like. There's simple things that people forget on a daily basis. You're like, man, I got water. Like, this is delicious mm-hmm. and fueling me. Um, just constantly being grateful. It's, it's it, you can get lost, and uh, it's it's easier to be ungrateful and hate everything and hate everything around you. But it feels so much better to love. It feels better to love. Love wins. Yeah. And to send us out on a happy note here, I have a very very good TikTok. Um, you're gonna know these guys, uh, with Burt Kreischer, and then I do, will? You, do you know these two that get food? No, this is great. Burt Kreischer crushed this dude. He fully committed. Crave orders. Hey, bitches, it's Dakota. Now I thought I was gonna meet the who's who of Hollywood, not who's available, Burt. So <laughs> for to drink, I have a strawberry banana smoothie, and then I got the Crave <laughs> oh, breakfast burrito at Jalapenos. Hey, it's Jackson. And Bert really reminds me of my father. <laughs> I can't wait to leave. <laughs> For my meal, I got the breakfast entree with pancakes and hash browns. Mm. You know I had to get a little piece of carrot cake. And I'm washing it down <laughs> with peach boba. Hey, y'all. It's Bert Kreischer. <laughs> and I came to play with the big boys. <laughs> hey, hey, Dakota, can you hold that for me? That's what he said. <laughs> to start, I started with the traditional American breakfast. Three eggs. I got them over easy. I wanted them fertilized. <laughs> Second, for the table, the breakfast that pizza. That looks so good. So good. Hey, you hey. can put that in my mouth all day long. <laughs> and last, but certainly not least, the Coca-Cola pancakes. with the coffee. Wait, where's my syrup? Uh-oh, I might have already swallowed it all. <laughs> <laughs> and for to drink and wash it down... I washing got, it down. I'm washing it down for to drink a uh, DC <laughs> and a latte. Oreo muffin. <laughs> That's the best thing he's ever done. Do Crave. we go to Dude. Crave Cafe right now? But why did that look so? F- I'm fuck, I'm good. so hungry after seeing That's that. That's the place you would take me, right? We went there once. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. So that was good. Thank God, you. I love you, Bert. Good job, Bert. So he fucking crushed it, man. I gotta find these guys and do a video. That's oh. what I'm saying, dude. You could feast. All you do is Where feast. Where are they? I, I, I'm pretty sure. That's L.A., right? Yeah. yeah. Was it L.A.? Yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. But Bert's back on tour. Um, okay. Go this watch was... his new movie. The Machine. Oh, the Machine. The yep. Machine. Um, yeah, thanks for letting us do this, I'm Train. So proud. Yeah. Um, listen up, guys. I have days left uh, of this pregnancy, and I'm going down. Um, struggling. So, like, I might be in some episodes. I might be out. Okay. I'm so fucked. You're gonna be fine. I'll try to help if you need help. I'm here. I just it takes a lot to get this gorgeous, and uh, no, it doesn't. I'm over it. We so, could do we could do audio onlys. Yeah, but that's not fun. Yeah, but it's just it's an option. Comment below if you'd rather audio only for or nothing or, or no nothing. Megan. They're or gonna no want to hear your voice. I'm I'll, I'll be fucked. They'll be like, please get her out of there. <laughs> You're just going to get more Why Ryan Dale time. <laughs> Yay. We can, talk about Trisha. we can talk about acting class. Maybe should we get oh. should we get someone in here? We'll figure it out. Okay. Let us know what you guys think. <laughs> All right. Much love, friends love and family. Love Thanks you. for listening and watching, working on a pod. Woo. That was good. <laughs> okay, bye. Woo.